Today I'm going to show you how to turn regular images like this into 3D models like this. So I'm going to show you two ways to do this. They're equally simple and equally free. Now you can use these 3D models for anything you want. You can import them into Blender. You can use them as game assets. You can even convert them to STLs and 3D print them. So first we need some images that we want to turn into 3D models. Now it works best if the images already have some depth in them, so some shadows. So we're going to Bing Create to use DALI 3. You can use any image generator, obviously. Midjourney would work great as well. So let's try some different things. Let's start off with a 3D render of Pikachu. That's perfect. Let's try Super Mario. Let's just add white background to the the prompt try again perfect now let's try something simpler like a barrel that you might 3d print or use as an asset in a game excellent so we're just going to download all these images we just made and now we'll compare the two free tools the first one is 3d.csm.ai so just head over there you'll immediately see the community showcase showcasing what people have made already and the second one is a hugging face space with this lovely short title dream gaussian generative gaussian splatting for efficient 3d content creation so we're going to try both of these let's upload our pikachu into both of them for the csm you actually have to register an account we can just pick the free account we'll just sign in with google then we have to return to the login page and log in then we'll click on generate 3d model and we'll pop in our pikachu so you see it says cube has generated four initial views of your model these form the backbone of the generation algorithm don't worry if they look a bit rough but if they're completely inaccurate you can upload another image so at the moment you have two different models to pick from let's start with the 1.0 see what that does it generates and as you can see it says it will take 10 to 15 minutes so when we head over to the dream gaussian hugging face we'll leave the angle at zero as we are looking horizontally at pikachu make sure the pre-process box is ticked so it will remove the background and recenter the object and then we'll just hit generate 3d first it'll show you a rough 3d model as you can see it's very rough this pikachu does not look great and here's our finished 3d model this pikachu still does not look like their most healthy pikachu kind of scary actually i don't know why i thought its tail had a hole in it but yeah here's our pikachu so let's try it with our Mario, see if that works any better. By the way, I've got some longer videos in the pipeline with loads of value in them. So if you want to see those and help me out, please subscribe. And here's our stage one Mario. Let's not judge it yet. Yep, now we can definitely judge it. It looks all weird and melty, just like the first one. Let's see if it does a better job with simple things like our barrel. Okay, here's our barrel. Still not that great, still quite melty. So just to be sure, I'm trying again with a Super Mario image I generated in mid journey. See if that makes any difference. And while that's going, our Pikachu has finished on CSM. Slightly creepy looking. It is smoother than the other one. Should try it with the 1.1 model as well. Now we'll hit refine mesh and then export mesh. So it's actually not that bad. If you 3D print this, this will look like a Pikachu. So here's our new Mario. Slightly better than the old one, I think. Still not great. And he's got something growing out of his face here. We're going to try one more time with the cute green monster thing you saw in the thumbnail. Fingers crossed. This one's not too bad, actually. Now, obviously, this technology has to be improved if you just want to turn any image into a 3D model. But it has done what it said it would do. We did take a flat JPEG and turn it into this 3D model. And here's our little green guy from CSM. Now, it's interesting. This was the original image. And it made a top-down image showing three of these dots on his head. But then it only gave him one in the end. So while it does leave something to be desired, this is only the beginning. I just thought it would be cool to check this out in a short video. Leave a comment what you think about this. I'll reply to every single one and I'll see you next time.